Let's check on stories we're following for you today on Robin Hood Radio. At Bard in Annandale on Hudson, the Bard Music Festival presents Rimsky Korsakoff and his world that runs today through August 19th. More information, of course, at bard.edu. The 59th annual Rose Algrid Art Show featuring Cornwall artists be held beginning today from 5 till 8, tomorrow from 10 to 5, and Sunday 10 till noon at Trinity Retreat Center's Community Hall on Lower River Road, featuring paintings, photographs, drawings, ceramics, textiles, prints, linen sculpture, and jewelry. No admission charge. 15% of the show proceeds benefit the Cornwall Housing Corporation. It's time for Habitat for Humanity's annual tag sale, which begins with a preview tonight at 6 p.m. There's a $10 donation requested for that. The main event comes up tomorrow from 9 to 3 with a free admission, followed by a bag sale on Sunday from noon until 3 p.m. Teen Movie Night comes up tonight at the Hotchkiss Library in Sharon at 6 p.m. Black Panther will be shown. Pizza and soft drinks will be served. Registration is required. More information or to register, hotchkisslibrary.org or 860-364-5041. Now coming up tomorrow at the Sharon Town Beach, the Sprint Triathlon. Start time is at 8 o'clock. Swim a half mile, bike 12.1 miles, run 4.1 miles. Registration active.com or 860-364-1400 for more information. A food pantry distribution will take place on Saturday from 10 till noon at the United Methodist Church on Route 199 in Pine Plains. The event happens on the second Saturday of every month. Upcoming dates for the current year are September 8th, October 13th, November 10th, and December 8th. The Hotchkiss Library has a morning of fun, food, and a chance to honor Sharon's volunteers uh, coming up on a Saturday. That is at 11 o'clock in the morning. Hot dogs will be grilled on the lawn. Children, adults too, can tour ambulances and fire engines. And the volunteers will talk about their training and experiences. All are encouraged to attend. For more information, 860-364-5041, hotchkisslibrary.org. The 11th Annual Sangria and Jazz Festival happening this Saturday in Ghent, New York at the Hudson Chatham Winery. From 11 till 6, there's no admission to attend, and there are paid events that go on during that event. A series of monthly art studio tours throughout central and south Berkshire counties continues this Saturday from 11 till 5. 33 artists are opening their studios in 15 locations, Dalton, Pittsfield, Richmond, Lenox, West Stockbridge, Beckett, Stockbridge, Great Barrington, and South Egremont. A map of the studios available at the brochure racks at various theaters, hotels, and bed and breakfast throughout the county or online at berkshirearts.org. The Berkshire Botanical Garden in Stockbridge, Massachusetts, has their annual grow show. You grow it and they show it. It starts on Saturday and runs through Sunday, 1 to 5 on Saturday and 10 to 5 on Sunday. By the way, uh, their website has more information. It's free with garden admission. Discovering Our Founders, sculptor and artist Willard Dryden Paddock will be held in Kent. The Kent Art Association is celebrating their 95th anniversary, presenting their fourth lecture in its series, coming up on Saturday at 3 p.m. at the Gallery in Kent, Connecticut. Kent resident and legendary musician Steve Katz will offer an intimate and exclusive performance, an afternoon of story and song, on Saturday at 4 at the Fife and Drum Restaurant in Kent. The show is a fundraiser for Kent Memorial Library. Of course, Katz, a founding member of Blood, Sweat, and Tears. More information and registration, kentmemoriallibrary.org. The next swing dance at Dewey Hall is coming up on Saturday, featuring useless cans from New York's capital region. Doors open at 7, lesson at 7.30 with Jason Fenton. Live music starts at 8.30. Admission on a sliding scale of $15 to $20, $10 with student ID. No partner necessary. Beginners are welcome. Refreshments will be available. Historic Dewey Hall is at 91 Main Street in Sheffield, deweyhall.org. O-R-G. The Sharon Fire Department Ambulance Squad has their pancake breakfast on Sunday, 7 to 10.30. 
The Milan Bicentennial Family Festival will take place on Sunday from 3 till 7 p.m., rain or shine, including a barbecue, tethered hot air balloon rides for $20, weather permitting, kayaks, boating, group painting classes, water games, frisbees, can jam, food and drinks, wiffle ball, face painting, the Milan History Exhibit, and video interviews with local authors. All are welcome to enjoy the day at the Taconic Retreat Center, 64 White Drive by the mobile gas station just on Route 199. More information or to sign up for the group painting, email M-I-L-A-N-N-Y history at gmail.com. That's M-I-L-A-N-N-Y history at gmail.com. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgans at the Interlaken, interlakenin.com, and by Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com on the web. The Dow Jones Industrial Average will start off the day today at 25,509.23, down 74.52 yesterday. The Nasdaq starts off today at 7891.78, and the S&P 500 at 2053.58. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few moments.